What is good? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do my morning skincare routine. Um, it's very realistic because I haven't done anything yet today. I have just splashed a little water on my face, which is always the first thing I do. It's the first step in my morning skincare routine. I don't wash my face. I did that last night. I took care of my skin at nighttime. I don't like to overwash my skin. So I'm gonna hop right in to my next step. The first thing I do would be a facial mist. I like tell everybody about spraying their face. It's like my number one tip of life is spray your face with some sort of facial mist before you put anything on it. I feel like when you put skincare onto a, onto dry skin, it's like putting soap on a dry sponge. It's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna like sit on top. So I, this is like my number one tip for everybody and that I am obsessed with doing. If I don't have a, a facial mist with me at all times, I'm, I'm like a lost puppy. This is the one that I've been using right now. It's the Thayer's facial mist and it's the lavender one. There's tons that I love. The Mario Badescu, all of them are amazing. I love the brand. It's called something heritage. It's really basic. It's just rose water and, and glycerin, I think. Um, glycerin is like number one love in a facial spray. It's so hydrating and it's gorgeous and I love it. So that's what I'm gonna do first because I'm feeling like SpongeBob and Sandy's and Sandy's shell I'm dried out right now. Oh, that always feels so good. The next step that I would do would be a vitamin C serum. I just ran out the SkinCeutical CE Ferulic. It's wicked pricey, but I think it's worth it. I am that person who's spending that kind of money on skincare, but other ones that I like are the Ula Henriksen Vitamin C Serum, love it. Another one that I think is great is the Drunk Elephant one, that's fantastic. Um, there's so many brands make amazing vitamin C serums, so just do your research. The products in my routine will change. I will research different things and try different things, but the steps are always the same. It's always been the same routine for years now. That's the key to me in keeping things consistent and how I like to do things. Also, I guess I should say this, I'm not a dermatologist. I don't think anybody thought I was, but I just have to say that because, sorry, she's gotta go. She's been on my lap. <laughs> when talking about skincare, it's so personal to people. Do your own research for what works for you, but this is just has, what has worked for me for a long time. So I'd put the vitamin C serum on now. Since I don't have that, I'm gonna skip to my next step, which is eye cream. And I am using currently, and it's almost gone, the Ula, Henri Ula Henriksen Banana Bright. I love it. I mentioned it in my other videos about makeup prep and things, but it's just so gorgeous under the eye before makeup. I don't know that it does anything wild as far as color correcting, but I think it's incredibly hydrating and it looks really gorgeous under makeup. The next step I'm gonna do is moisturizer and SPF. I do this step all in one. I love a product that has SPF in the moisturizer. I think it cuts out one extra step in the morning. It's super easy. I love this one, it's the Super Goop. I mean, the label is totally gone because I use it every day, but it's the Everyday Sunscreen SPF 40 plus plus plus, PA plus plus plus, best rated SPF you can get. I cannot stress enough the importance of SPF every day. Even if it's winter, even if you're not going outside, put it on. I'm telling you, it's the number one secret for skincare. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I literally just slap it on like this. And I'll also press it in like this too. I don't know if this does anything, but it feels really good. And I love to just make sure all the product is really absorbed down my neck and my ears. The sun will see my face, so, and my ears on my neck. So I wanna make sure that I'm protected. And this is key in, you know, preventative skincare. So we're not trying to reverse things that are happening. Let's prevent them from happening. Dark spots from forming from the sun fine lines, also cancer. Like every dermatologist will like drill it into your head, wear SPF every day, it's so important. And I just get the, you know, get a moisturizer that has it in it already. I just particularly like this one because I think it sits really beautifully under makeup. There are some that will kind of pill 
on your skin and get those like balls of product, which I can't stand that. But this is really gorgeous under makeup. Another one that I kind of want to try is the new Fenty, the Rihanna one that has SPF in it that looks really gorgeous and glowy too. And it, I do want to try other sunscreens because I have a big um, tub of a La Roche-Posay moisturizer that I want to finish up. So when this is gone, I might start using that moisturizer and then get a separate SPF. If you are somebody who likes to separate the two products, some SPFs that I would recommend are the Elta MD. There's quite a few of them. Super, super high rated by dermatologists. Another one is Biosance, makes a really great one. Um, Tula came out with one too that I think is supposed to be really beautiful under makeup as well. I cannot recommend it enough. SPF every day. If I'm feeling super dehydrated and or puffy in the morning, I will do a little combination of an oil. And this is the one that I'm use using currently is the Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil. It's gorgeous on the skin in combination with my facial tool. And this is from Shen Beauty. Shen is a gorgeous, gorgeous beauty store in my neighborhood in Brooklyn. They just opened a new store on Court Street next to Trader Joe's if you're local to New York City. They sell the most amazing products, indie product, clean beauty. It's a fantastic store. This is where this tool is from. I love it. It is amazing for lymphatic drainage and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Just a couple drops in my hand of the oil. Massage it into your hands. And we're just gonna press this all over the skin. Just so the tool gets a little bit of slip when you use it on your skin, so you're not pulling or tugging on your skin. There are so many amazing facial oils out there from high end to low end. You can buy something really simple, like a simple jojoba oil at Whole Foods, up to really expensive ones like a Rodin Oleo Oso. Like those are amazing oils. Linda Rodin makes fantastic stuff. Just whatever is right for you. I kind of recommend everybody to have a facial oil in their arsenal. It makes the skin really glowy. It's hydrating. Well, it's not actually an hydrator, but it seals in moisture. That's what oils do. It should be the last step in any skincare routine you do because it seals in moisture. It's not actually gonna moisturize. It's a common misconception. Also, I think people tend to over dry their skin out, especially if they've got acne prone skin. The more you dry your skin out, the more oil it's going to produce. So when you put oils and gorgeous moisture on your skin, I think it helps to balance things out a little bit. In my experience, there is some research behind this, but you know, like I said, do your own research and see what works for you. This I recommend to everybody to have in your arsenal, one facial oil. So I'm gonna take the tool and I'm just gonna run it across my face and kind of drain any fluid that's in here if I'm feeling a little puffy, which today I kind of am. And your face will get a little red, but you really wanna press it in. And this is, um, I believe, stainless steel. It is so awesome. It stays cool. You don't have to refrigerate it, even though you can. On your skin in the morning, it feels so nice. It wakes you up. It calms any inflammation you have. I love it. A gua sha is another similar tool that you can use. I know people like the jade rollers. I'm not too big into them. I don't know if they're as effective as something like this, that where actually it puts pressure on your skin and does what it's supposed to do. But there's tons of things out there to help with lymphatic drainage. And I think it's important just to massage the skin and it helps to bring the blood back into your skin. And I love doing that. So the last step in my morning skincare routine is always hydrate the lips. I'm really basic with this. I just use Aquaphor, try and true. Everybody loves it, multi-purpose ointment, and I just use it on my lips just to give them some hydration. The last little thing I wanna mention, and it's not a skincare product, but for me, this is such an integral part to my morning routine, and that's fragrance. It makes me feel ready for the day, and scent is such an important thing to me. It's also a memory for me too, like certain scents bring back memories for me, so I love fragrance. I might do a whole video just on my favorite fragrances, I don't know if you guys would be into that, but let me know in the comments below if you want me to share that because I've got a real like passion for fragrance. The one I'm using now is the Maison Margiela and it's the, yeah, Under the Lemon Trees. And it reminds me of Italy. I think it's so gorgeous. I like a more citrusy 
scent. I don't like anything too sweet or too fruity, but I do love a citrusy scent or um, gardenia is one of my favorite scents in fragrance, but I already put it on today, so I'm not gonna spray any more on because I'll be, I'll really smell wild. This is such an important part to my morning routine and I thought I would share that with you guys too. So I just tossed on my simple makeup that I do every day and I'm gonna do a whole video on my go-to makeup that I do daily. It's really, really easy and there's like very few steps to it and very few products. But you can see that the skincare prep that we just did before, how it gives the skin just a really, really healthy, natural glow. I don't even have highlighter on. Those simple things, what they do to make your skin look very healthy. It's been my go-to routine forever. The products switch and change a bit, but it's always the same type of products in that order. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you wanna see other skincare videos. I think I'm gonna do my nighttime skincare routine, but like in my bathroom, like a Vogue style video. That'd be, I think, the most realistic way to show you what I do at night. And I will see you next time. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We are cranking them out. We are on the YouTube train now. So I'm really excited to do more videos. So thank you.